When it comes to breathing, we want to coordinate our breath to movement to enhance the stability within the movement. With inhalations, it's an expansion outwards. We're feeling lots of pressure, lots of stretching. And so we want to match this state of tension and stretching with the eccentric portion of the lip. So the inhalation is the eccentric portion of our breath, and we want to match it to the eccentric portion of the lift. So what this means is the lengthening portion or the portion that we're moving with gravity. So when I'm doing a squat, when I'm lowering in the squat, when I'm doing a deadlift, when I'm lowering the bar to the floor, when I'm doing a lunge, when I'm lowering to the floor, it would all be the inhalation portion of the movement. So I'm moving with gravity. On the opposite side, we have the exhalation, which is concentric, it's the shortening, it's the tightening and activation portion. I want to match the exhalation to the portion of the movement that is also concentric, where we're shortening within the muscles, we're moving against gravity or resistance. So typically the portion of the movement that involves exertion. So for example, if I'm doing a squat motion, I could inhale as I lower, and then exhale as I come up. So as I lower, my muscles are lengthening and stretching, so I'm moving with gravity, this is the eccentric portion, and then I'm gonna move against gravity, shh, exhale to come on up. If I was doing a rowing or a pull down type motion, as I row back, this is where I'm moving against gravity or against resistance, so I'm pulling towards my body. This would be when I exhale, shh. When I release the band, I'm lengthening in my lat to reach forward, inhalation, exhale, shorten, shh. So inhale, shh, exhale as I pull. So when we're moving against gravity is when we want to have that strong exhalation. We're thinking lift up and in the pelvic floor and the core to help us stabilize within the pelvis and within the spine. When we inhale, we want it to be in the stretching part. So I'm reaching, I'm stretching, moving with gravity or resistance. I'm inhaling, I'm stretching, moving with gravity. And then exhale, shh, move against gravity. So hopefully that helps cue you when we want to coordinate our breath to movement. We want to inhale with the eccentric portion or moving with gravity. We want to use that stability within the spine, that increased pressure to help us move through that slow portion of the lip. And then we want to use the eccentric portion where we're recoiling and generating power from that inhalation to help us move out of the movement with exertion. So inhale with the gravity and then exhale against gravity.